Passing even a small piece of a kidney stone can be extremely painful. At the Applied Physics Laboratory's Center for Industrial and Medical Ultrasound, scientists, engineers, and students have now developed a new way to give kidney stones a push. We call this technology ultrasonic propulsion. In addition to finding stones, this technology can move stones. The forceful pressure of ultrasound is evident in this lab demonstration. Extensive experience in lithotripsy, breaking kidney stones with shock waves, plus high-intensity focused ultrasound used to cook diseased tissue, all adds up to a new method of speeding the natural passage of stones or stone fragments. All in this one system is better ultrasound imaging, much easier to use. It adds color to the stone. It is ultrasound for finding stone, which is non-ionizing radiation, so it would remove some x-ray uh, diagnosis that's currently done. The key is a new imaging technique called the Doppler Twinkle Mode. Ultrasound reflections from a detected stone cause the stone to display a flickering mosaic of color. Once the stone has been localized, we can then move into the, the push mode of the project. We just target the stone on the screen very easily and adjust the power to the right level, press another button, and should move the stone right across the screen using the acoustic radiation force. And as needed, you can retarget and push the stone uh, to whatever part of the kidney you want. A person comes in with small stones or has just had surgery and there are residual pieces left over, this technology would help push those pieces to the exit of the kidney so that they will more easily pass naturally. This new system operates at levels above regulated limits for diagnostic ultrasound. So the objective of this study is to show that our procedure to move stones is actually safe. To show that, we've ramped up the intensity of the ultrasound until such a time that we saw injury. So we could say, this is where the threshold is, we're below that. Potential commercial applications range from the down to earth. This technology can help in the doctor's office or right in the OR. To out of this world. Uh, we also have funding from NASA, the National Space Biomedical Research Institute, to get a handheld system to deal with stones in space as uh, astronauts become dehydrated. As their bones demineralize, there's been evidence that stones can form. They'd like to detect them with a simple, small, portable system, and ultrasound is a nice way to do that. Uh, so NSBRI funded that. Uh, NSBRI then uh, came up here and met with the whole commercialization community at the University of Washington. And now we've tapped into all these foundations locally that want to promote uh, transition of technology into the clinical sphere and into the commercial realm. For more about this topic and other features on APLUW Research, visit www.apl.uw.edu forward slash report forward slash 2011. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.